How do you tell an alligator from a crocodile? And no, dad joke enthusiasts, the answer isn't that you see one later and the other after a while. The most obvious way to discern the two reptiles is to stare down their sinister snouts. Alligators have U shaped faces that are wide and short, while crocodiles have slender almost V shaped muzzles. And if you're daring enough, take a gander at their chompers. When an alligator closes its mouth, you tend to see only its upper teeth. Crocodiles on the other hand flash a toothy grin with their top and bottom teeth interlacing. Many of the differences between the two center on their heads and mouths. Now, researchers from Japan have identified what they believe to be another feature that sets the reptiles apart. Alligators tend to have shorter humerus bones in their forelimbs and shorter femurs in their hind limbs than crocodiles, the team reported last week. This information could help explain differences in their ecology and locomotion, including the strange fact that, while small crocodiles have been observed to bound and gallop, alligators have not, Julia Molnar an evolutionary. Biologist from the New York Institute of Technology College of Osteopathic Medicine who was not involved in the study. She said the limb differences can affect things like speed and leverage in the animals. The differences are small, and not something you could easily spot in the wild. But the finding may provide insights into the ways in which the two reptiles move. The study was published last week in the journal Royal Society Open Science. Masaya Ijima, a vertebrate paleontologist from Hokkaido University in Japan and lead author on the study, measured more than 120 alligator and crocodile skeletons from nearly a dozen museums across the world. Then he analyzed the results using a statistical model. The specimens mostly belonged to extinct crocodilians, which is the supergroup that encompasses both alligators and crocodiles, as well as caimans and gorillas. Though they look remarkably similar, alligators and crocodiles diverged evolutionarily during the late Cretaceous period some 80 million years ago. To put that into context, humans and chimpanzees split ways about 7 million years ago. Both reptiles also survived the mass extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs, and since then have remained relatively unchanged. That includes the differences seen in their limb proportions, according to Dr. Ijima. He found that over the course of millions of years, crocodiles tended to have longer humerus bones and femur bones than alligators. That suggests that the muscles attached to those bones extended farther on crocodiles than on alligators. The newly discovered difference is not nearly as apparent as the differences seen in the reptiles' snouts. I didn't notice it in the museum, but when I put them into the statistical test then I found it, Dr. Ijima said. It's a very tiny difference, but an important difference. Though he found a statistical difference between the two superfamilies, Dr. Ijima noted that does not necessarily mean the differences have had a noticeable effect. It is surprising that this has not been investigated before, but many aspects of crocodilian biology have been neglected, said John Hutchinson, an evolutionary biomechanist at the Royal Veterinary College at the University of London. But Dr. Hutchinson added that he was not entirely convinced by the findings, suggesting that the small differences might have resulted from missing cartilage in the museum specimens. Or, it could be a real difference that reflects something of broader importance, such as movement patterns, Dr. Hutchinson said. Drive. Ijima said the next steps are to study living alligators and crocodiles in order to determine whether the differences in their limbs correspond to differences in how they move.